The creation of the universe. In every age, people have always wondered how this seamless universe originated, where it leads to, how the laws maintaining its order and balance work. For centuries, scientists and thinkers had made numerous researches on this issue and produced quite a few theories. The prevailing thought of the 19th century was that the universe was a collection of matter infinite in size that existed since eternity and that would continue to exist forever. Laying the groundwork for the materialist philosophy, this view denied the existence of a creator while it maintained that the universe had neither a beginning nor an end. Materialism is a system of thought that holds matter to be the only absolute being and denies the existence of anything but matter. Having its roots in ancient Greece and gaining an ever-increasing acceptance in the 19th century, this system of thought became famous in the shape of the dialectical materialism of Karl Marx. The materialists consider the infinite universe model to be the most important mainstay of their atheist philosophies. For instance, in his book, Principe Fondamental de Philosophy, the materialist philosopher George Politzer claimed that the universe was not a created object and added, if it were created, it would have to be created by God instantaneously and from nothingness. When Politzer alleged that the universe was not created out of nothingness, he was relying on the static universe model of the 19th century and thinking that he was posing a scientific claim. However, science and technology that developed in the 20th century ultimately pulled down this primitive idea called materialism. It was found that the universe is not constant, as the materialists supposed, and just to the contrary, it keeps expanding. Besides, it was proven with many observations and calculations that the universe had a beginning and that it was created out of nothing with a big explosion. Today, these facts are acknowledged by the entire world of science, and the discovery of these very important facts have been made possible as a result of revolutionary observations and findings. In 1929, in the California Mount Wilson Observatory, an American astronomer by the name of Edwin Hubble made one of the greatest discoveries in the history of astronomy. While he observed the stars with a giant telescope, he found out that they emitted a reddish light depending on their distance. This meant that the stars were moving away from us. Because, according to the recognized rules of physics, the spectra of light beams traveling towards the point of observation tends towards violet, while the spectra of light beams moving away from the point of observation tend toward red. During Hubble's observations, the light from stars was discovered to tend towards red. This meant that they were constantly moving away from us. Before long, Hubble made another very important discovery. Stars and galaxies moved away not only from us, but also from one another. The only conclusion that could be derived from a universe where everything moves away from everything else is that the universe constantly expands. To better understand, the universe can be thought of as the surface of a balloon being blown up. Just as the points on the surface of a balloon move apart from each other as the balloon is inflated, 
So do the objects in space move apart from each other as the universe keeps expanding. In fact, this had been theoretically discovered even earlier. Albert Einstein, who was considered the greatest scientist of the 20th century, had concluded after the calculations he made in theoretical physics that the universe could not be static. However, he had laid his discovery to rest, simply not to conflict with the widely recognized static universe model of his time. Later on, Einstein was to identify his act as the greatest mistake of his career. What did the expansion of the universe imply? The expansion of the universe implied that if it could travel backwards in time, the universe would prove to have originated from a single point. Calculations showed that this single point that harbored all the matter of the universe, volume and infinite density. The universe had come about by the explosion of this single point with zero volume. This great explosion that marked the beginning of the universe was named the Big Bang, and the theory started to be so-called. It has to be stated that zero volume is a theoretical expression used for descriptive purposes. Science can define the concept of nothingness, which is beyond the limits of human comprehension, only by expressing it as a point with zero volume. In truth, a point with no volume means nothingness. Thus, the universe has come into being from nothingness. In other words, it was created. This fact, which was discovered by modern physics only in the 20th century, was stated in the Quran 14 centuries ago. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. The Big Bang Theory showed that in the beginning, all the objects in the universe were of one piece and then were parted. This fact, which was revealed by the Big Bang Theory, was again stated in the Quran 14 centuries ago when people had a very limited knowledge about the universe. Do unbelievers not see that the heavens and the earth were sewn together and then we unstitched them? This is meant that the entire matter was created with a big bang out of a single point and shaped the present universe by being parted from each other. The expansion of the universe is one of the most important pieces of evidence that the universe was created out of nothing. Although this fact was not discovered by science until the 20th century, Allah has informed us of this reality in the Quran revealed 1400 years ago. It is we who have built the universe with our creative power, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The Big Bang was an evident indication that the universe was created from nothing. In other words, that it was created by Allah. For this reason, astronomers committed to the materialist philosophy continued to resist the Big Bang and uphold the idea of the infinite universe. The reason for this effort was revealed in the words of Arthur Eddington, one of the foremost materialist physicists. Philosophically, the notion of an abrupt beginning to the present order of nature is repugnant to me. Another materialist, the prominent English astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle, was one of the foremost who were disturbed by the Big Bang Theory. In the middle of the century, Hoyle championed a theory called the steady state, which was similar to the constant universe approach of the 19th century. The steady state theory argued that the universe was both infinite in size and eternal in duration. With the sole visible aim of supporting the materialist philosophy, this theory was totally at variance with the Big Bang theory, which held that the universe had a beginning. 
Those who defended the steady state theory opposed the Big Bang for a long time. Science, however, was working against them.